Hey survivors, how's it going? And welcome to the patch note guide for Ark Survival Evolved, where we'll be looking at some of the new additions, changes, fixes, and general quality of life improvements for version 177.0. You can now make the T-Rex roar with alt fire, the first of many. I think this is something we've all wanted in Ark for a pretty long time now, and it's finally been added. So by right clicking or alternate fire while you're on top of your T-Rex, you can now make the big guy roar. A new structure, the reinforced steel vault, has been added for when you gotta store a crap ton of items with maximum security. Let me start by saying this bad boy is absolutely huge. The vault measures a whopping 2x3, but does compensate with the amount of storage that you can hold inside it. Now, like any other type of storage, you can go ahead and you can set your pin codes. You can rename, demolish, such and such. If we have a look inside, it has a whopping 100 slots of inventory storage, which is absolutely insane. And due to the recent changes in weight not being a part of storage boxes anymore, you don't have to worry about that, so you can place as much inside as you would like. Vaults will require a fabricator to be crafted, so let's have a look inside and see what the requirements for this guy are. So it's going to be in structures, metal, storage, vault. This is going to cost a grand total of 300 metal ingots, 60 cementing paste, 30 oil, and 60 polymer. And it is worth noting that these guys have a whopping 50,000 durability on them. And it seems like currently you can't actually place C4 charges directly on the vaults. The only way I found to actually damage them directly is with a rocket launcher. But you can place these on the foundations below the vault. So we can place them down there. And we can set them off. And you'll see that it takes roughly just under 100 durability. So 38,815. 37,600. And 90 so you know you're looking about 100 durability per charge the one thing that's probably going to go down before your vault is going to be the foundation and if the foundation breaks that the vault's on then yes the vault will demolish and fall apart so you want to make sure that your vault is placed on a pretty sturdy surface that's going to be fairly awkward to get to but except for that it's going to take a lot to get into your vault wooden spikes barricades have been added for when you just gotta build a quick defense on the cheap. Fairly recently we saw the addition of the metal spiked wall which is fairly expensive and has a durability of 5,000 and is a great for keeping out any type of dinosaurs. Currently, currently in raiding the biggest thing you want to look out for is a giant team of dinosaurs as they're going to rip your house down in no time. But unfortunately for those that are just starting out they don't really have access to that so this is where the wooden spiked wall comes in. Fairly cheaper with a durability of 3,500 Pretty much the same size, but it's going to do the job just as well at a lower price. Obviously, it's not going to last as long, but it is fairly cheap. If we have a look inside here, inside our craftables, we will find, if we go down, the wooden spiked wall. And this guy costs 40 wood, 10 hide, and 30 fiber to be able to craft. There we go. And uh, as it says here, these incredibly sharp wooden stakes are dangerous to any that touch them. Larger creatures take more damage. So a great way to protect your base in the early stages of the game. The bookshelf has been added to store mass quantities of blueprints and notes and implants. We all know what it's like having blueprints thrown all over the place in all different storage drawers or unfortunately sometimes you might even leave it inside your smithy or your fabricator and it might get stolen. So now we have this guy here, the bookshelf. We can access this and we can set pin codes on it just like most other storage drawers as well as renaming and such. Access the inventory and we can place all of our different types of blueprints inside our bookshelf as well as other small trinkets and small notes that you may come across or craft yourself and such can be placed inside the bookshelf with a fairly large inventory which is quite nice I must admit. Now one thing that it does say on the patch notes is it actually says that it stores these items but instead of trinkets we have implants. Now what are implants? Do you think that's this little guy down here? Let me know what you think. Are we going to be seeing implants soon? Special abilities and such? That would be pretty cool. And let's not forget the crafting recipe for this. You can make yourself a bookshelf with 100 wood, 45 batch, and 35 fiber. The Mammoth and Sabretooth have both been given their own custom saddle. It's 
storage boxes now only use slots, not weight. I have to admit, this is probably my favourite part of this update. The amount of times I've had where I've only been able to place 99 wood in one small storage box, well those days are now long gone. Praise the gods! <laughs> we can now place as many pieces of wood we would like in each storage box. The only thing that constricts us now is no longer weight, but the amount of slots available to ourselves. How good is that? So now we can put as much wood as we would like in here, as many items as we want, as long as we stick to the amount of storage slots available to ourselves. And this goes the same for the large storage box as well. So you have a pretty decent amount of storage available to yourself and the same for the vault. So pretty much anything that's considered a storage item now is no longer constricted by weight, but the amount of slots available to it. Did someone say dino spectacles? What more is there to say about this? Spectacles on dinosaurs, it's a win-win. The only clause is that on the update notes it does say that to get them you need to respawn or if necessary send them through the steam inventory using obelisks. Seriously, spectacles on dinosaurs. Think about it. Well that's it for most of the major stuff that I can show in game, but let's have a look at some of the tweaks, changes and quality of life improvements that are also added. Major improvement to asynchronous background streaming resulting in smoother overall performance when moving through the environment. Can now adjust a setting for whether you want your dino to auto collect inventory from things it kills. Locked doors now always accessible by tribe mates. Pin coded doors follow the governance settings. Fixed fall damage to never get a super high instantaneous velocity is now time based. Fixed water jar blueprint. Supply drops now give crafted items again, albeit at adjusted rates. Tribe governance can now be reset. Guns, explosives are 20% more effective against dinos. Doubled number of item slots in Smithy, Fabricator, etc. Well, that's it for the patch note guide for version 177.0 of Ark. I hope you learnt something. As always, if you enjoyed it, then make sure to drop a like. And if you're new and would like to keep up with more Ark content, then feel free to subscribe to the channel as well. Happy hunting, and I'll see you for the next patch note guide.